uh, is, of course, Dr. Darren J. Beattie of Revolver.News fame. You have a new piece, Harvard's Shocking Admission, Affirmative Action and Critical Race Theory Killed South Africa. I'd love if you could walk the audience through that piece and your analysis. Indeed. Well, this all falls within a broader context of study that we've been engaging in, Revolver, about the collapse of our ability to maintain complex systems. Um, Our major study more recently about the collapse of the aviation industry and the incompetence prevalent in the air traffic controller community is just one part of that larger story of America's sort of systemic collapse. And I think South Africa is really an important story to study because it marks sort of the accelerated version that already happened of what it looks like when a society that was once first world, thriving, technological, collapses in a very short period of time. And this is interesting, this piece that we did, it's covering a study that Harvard did that begrudgingly acknowledges that the manifest failure of South Africa as a society more broadly, um, largely owes to its aggressive DEI policies, although they call it something different there, but it all amounts to basically aggressive and pervasive affirmative action policies that have destroyed every critical piece of infrastructure in that country, um, which is pretty astonishing and life expectancy is plummeted, and it's gotten to the point where they're unable to even keep the lights on in a very literal sense, that they're just enduring blackouts all the time. Um, The power company uh, instituted a policy of actively encouraging white people to leave, which they did, and then in a reasonable amount of time, we got constant blackouts, and that is basically the state of South Africa now. And if you think that this can only happen in South Africa, you got to think again, because there's recently a piece in the Wall Street Journal about the electric grid infrastructure calamity um, uh, facing the northeast part of the country. We almost got to a stage of rolling blackouts in the northeast and during blackouts. Just a couple of years ago, there was a similar situation in Texas. Um, where there were constant blackouts. There was a black swan weather event and our electric infrastructure was not able to keep up. Now, both the conventional story about the Texas grid and the recent Wall Street Journal story about the um, uh, electric grid in the Northeast, the primary culprits in those stories are you know, green energy and so forth. And this is not to be discounted. It's true. Um, you know, I'm sure, you know, gas companies are, you know, probably funded part of, you know, whatever article appeared in the Wall Street Journal. This is not to say it's not true, but that's sort of the kinder and gentler explanation that elides a deeper problem of competence. And that's what we've been focusing on at Revolver in our studies of how infrastructure has collapsed, is that we've moved toward a system of merit to a system of promoting diversity above all else. And, you know, it's one thing to have it in sort of more superficial optics oriented positions like we've all seen commercials and definitely there's no lack of diversity there. And that's fine. But once we get to maintaining critical infrastructure, we get to the stage where we're threatening major catastrophic aviation events. We're threatening blackouts in in the country. And this is what, you know, these are critical metrics of what it means to be in a first world society. And I think that, you know, so much has happened in politics. One major thematic development that I think Revolver and myself have been at the forefront of pushing into the public conversation is the political weaponization of national security state. Now, I think that's pretty much in the public conversation. Most everybody is talking about that now. I think the next major story is the collapse of basic infrastructure in the United States. 
And this is part of that story. And I think everybody needs to go read it and share it with everybody they know.